Hi everyone, this example shows using Dask version 0.18.1 to manipulate a terabyte data frame. Uh, we're going to launch a PBS cluster and ask for 50 nodes. Each node will have, I think, four workers and around 30 cores. Let's bring up the dashboard and see those workers as they arrive. So, and each node has four, four workers, so they're all here now. We have around five terabytes of RAM. It's sort of a, not too large, but it's big enough to do some interesting work. So we don't have a terabyte data set to play with, so we're going to make one. So we're going to make a time series, as data every 10 milliseconds uh, for the last, or for 10 years. Uh, that data is going to be split into partitions of every day. So there's a day of data. Let's look at a little head of this data. So every partition of data uh, holds data for one day, and that has a record for every 10 milliseconds of that day for three columns. Let's go ahead and ask Dask to persist that memory. And in total, this is something like a terabyte in RAM. So you can see here, the memory of our cluster goes up. Great. And our machines are holding you know, something like five to six gigabytes total each. OK, so let's do a simple operation. We'll group by the ID column compute the uh, mean of the x and y columns. There you go, in around 10 seconds, we have a group aggregation every terabyte of data using normal panda syntax. Uh, this result isn't particularly interesting here. This is, again, just random data. Uh, let's just go ahead and do something more, a little more complex. We'll take the uh, rolling average over a minute long period, so we're sliding a window across all of our data taking the standard deviation across that minute window. Then we're going to find, we're going to remove sort of the first day and the last day of data because the, the boundary is a little bit weird. And then we're going to find the index that corresponds to the maximum value. So this is like finding the most volatile minute in these 10 years of 10 millisecond tick data. That involves a lot of you know, community standard deviations, but also a lot of communication. You're seeing a lot more red here on the screen. This should be done in another you know, 15, 20 seconds. RAM use is saying relatively stable, you know, a few gigabytes per machine, sort of, you know, 50% extra load. There we go. We're almost done. So we found that, you know, in the year 2007, November 13th, this particular millisecond uh, was the most active, the most volatile time in this terabyte of data. So again, we can do sort of normal pandas-like things on terabyte scale relatively comfortably. One final computation, we'll compute the singular value decomposition, and just get the singular values. Um, this is using maybe a more intense linear algebra computation, um, but on our larger data set. So again, this is all with sort of stock, Dask. We didn't have to do anything to tune anything. Uh, this is with the latest release as of today, in sort of mid-June 2018. It's 0 to 18.1. So here could be this so the value decomposition values, and it's mostly a lot of QR decompositions. They're, they're almost done, operating very low RAM. There we go. So there's one particularly strong mode. This probably corresponds to the D column, which is always positive. So that's it. This is again just showing you that Dask works very comfortably on you know, modestly large clusters uh, with you know, modestly large data sets. And again, we can we can scale this up to be to be much much larger if we if we care to. So that's it. Thank you all for your time.